There's an old proverb that states, the hunter who chases two rabbits will catch none. And lessons, many of them, can be learned from that simple truth. Now, it's a simple, simple fact of our lives that we have limited time in them. We have limited amounts of time to do the things that we wish to do. And very often, we're going to wish to do more things than our time will allow. It, it's simple enough, right? Now, how we handle this is actually much more important than you might think. We must correctly budget our time, like all of us, when we do things. It's, it's so fundamentally simple that it fits right into this channel for me to talk about it, that time is limited, but the events we wish to do are not. And... When you, as a person, try to fit in, let's say you're one of those people who's trying to do everything all the time, you're a super social person, or you're involved in some kind of extracurricular thing, plus school and work and whatever else have you, you're going to inevitably run into the point where you want to do more than, well, you can. And let's just get this right out of the way. Accept your limitations right here and now. Accept what you can and cannot fit in, what you can and cannot do. And if you want to do things and you can't fit them all in, just accept that fact. One of the easiest ways to add stress to your life, and you don't want stress adding to be easy, is to try to tack on more into your day than you could feasibly handle. To say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, when in reality you know that you're cutting it close at best. That creates certain tension points in your schedule where things need to align at certain times or it's all going to collapse. And all you've done there is set yourself up for a stress point that you're going to sit there and anticipate throughout your day. Can I make it in time? Can I cut some time off here? Can I do this, that, or the other? And you're not going to have as much fun as you could have or you're going to have none at all potentially. And it's an easy thing to avoid. It, it But it's more than just an awareness of your limits of time. It's an awareness of the limits of yourself because trying to do something with yourself all the time is going to wear you out. It's going to drain you and it's going to leave you dry eventually. You can't always be doing everything or anything. Sometimes you need to take that time off to just coalesce, to just relax. And you need to plan for that in your times. You need to understand that you're going to need these breaks, and you need to be aware of that. You need to plan for it. And when you're putting your schedule together, you're just plan for your day or week or whatever. Just keep it simple and don't overbook yourself. It, it sounds so small, I know, and trivial, but the stress of every day can be lessened by this one simple fact. You don't have to worry about, can you make it somewhere on time? Because you left yourself enough time to do it. Yes, you may not get everything you want done at once, but if you take a long-term perspective on things, you can see that you do have, generally speaking, enough time to fit it all in, so long as you're willing to allow things to be later than perhaps you might want immediately, or you're willing to compromise on other things. In short, be aware of the finite nature of time and yourself. Plan for that accordingly and allow yourself, in fact, more time than you might need. And perhaps give yourself more chunks of free space than you might otherwise prefer. Find your balance where it works out for you without being too stressful and run with that. Again, it's so simple, but it eliminates daily stress from your life. And every little bit of stress taken away from your life is a bit of stress that is taken away, right? A penny saved, a penny earned. But in this case, stress not gained is stress not dealt with later. It's that simple. Just something to think about.